Hi everyone, it's Joy from Artful Homemaking, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Japanese linen crossback pinafore apron. This is my favorite style of apron, and this is the first one I ever made. This one's made out of a cotton linen blend fabric. It's not quite as expensive as linen, it's a little bit cheaper, but you still get kind of a linen look. This one I really love. I love the the style of it. I love everything about it. So what makes these aprons so neat is that you know, there aren't any ties or any fastenings or anything like that. This is the front and it just has, um, it has the straps here and then it has the back crosses over in the back and I've added big pockets and anyway I just love it. It's great for working in the garden or in the kitchen or whatever. So I'm just going to start one today and make it from start to finish so you can see how to make it. Okay, you're going to start by taking some measurements. First, you're going to measure right above your bust and add five to six inches to this measurement. This is going to be the width of your apron. To find the apron length, you're going to put the measuring tape above your bust where you measured originally and let it hang down and decide how long you'd like it to be. Add three inches to this measurement. So you're going to use these measurements and cut out the apron body, and that's what you see me doing here in the video. Now it's time to cut the straps. You're going to cut two straps that measure 20 inches by 7 inches. So they're going to be 20 inches long by 7 inches wide. Now it's time to cut the pockets. You're going to cut out two pockets measuring 11 inches by 8 inches. So they're going to be 11 inches tall by 8 inches wide. Now you're going to cut one apron facing the width of your apron by 5 inches. So mine was 43 inches wide by 5 inches long. On your main apron body piece, turn a hem up half an inch and press. Then turn up another two inches and press again. Now pin the pressed up hem into place. Now sew along the folded edge, removing the pins as you sew. Now make a narrow hem on your apron sides by turning under half an inch twice. Then prepare your straps by folding in half and sewing. See the blog post for full instructions here. Now it's time to attach the straps. Lay the apron right side up, take one strap and pin it one inch away from the raw edge. Repeat with the other strap. Use pins to mark the apron center. Now this is the part that can seem a little bit tricky. You're going to take this right strap and you're going to bring it over to the center front and you're going to pin it there. You can see I've marked a place in the center where the center of the apron is and I've also measured a seven inch distance that's what those other two pins are so the straps in the center are about seven inches apart in the center so now you're going to take this left strap and you're going to bring it over to that other pin in the center that I have marked there 
see I'm laying it right along that pin and then I'm going to take pins and I'm going to pin it down. If you're new to this method, I highly recommend at this point taking the time to try the apron on before you sew the straps down. That way you can just make sure they're in the right place and you're happy with it and then you can get to sewing them down. Next you're going to take your long apron facing piece and you're going to lay the apron facing over the top of the apron body right sides together. Then you're going to pin it in place. So what this does is it just makes a nice finished edge all along the top of your apron and it looks really just really nice and finished. Somehow I think I missed getting video footage of this, but prior to pinning your apron facing on, you're going to turn under the bottom edge of the apron facing and you're going to press it. So as you can see in the video, the bottom edge has been turned up half an inch and that way whenever you get this pinned on, then you're going to sew it and then you'll have a finished edge at the bottom. you've got that all pinned on it's time to head to the sewing machine and we're just going to sew down that apron facing you're going to stitch it using a half inch seam allowance then once you're done stitching it you're going to trim the seam to fourth of an inch and on the inside you're going to press the seam up toward the top of the apron and then press the apron facing down and make sure the edge you turned under earlier is still nicely pressed so next you're going to top stitch along the top edge of the apron, then you're going to sew down the folded under edge, which is the bottom edge of the apron facing. Then you're going to hem the apron sides by sewing along the previously folded one inch edge. Next you're going to make the pockets. You're going to turn under half an inch on the pocket top, fold it again at one and a half inches with right sides together, and then stitch with a half inch seam allowance. Then you're going to trim the corners diagonally and fold the pocket over. Top stitch the top of the pocket, press the sides under half an inch, and then fold the bottom up half an inch and press, and then top stitch the top of the pocket fold. And then you're going to repeat that again for the other pocket. And I, I realize I didn't get adequate video footage of this, so hopefully the blog post will be helpful. Now try the apron on and decide where to put the pockets. I outline where I want the pockets to be with pins. I put mine 11 inches from the bottom and about 8.5 inches from the sides of the apron. So you're going to pin the pockets to the apron and then stitch the pockets down around each side and bottom, leaving the top edge open. And I do highly recommend checking out the blog post, which I'll link below. That will have complete instructions and a cut list. And I realize I missed a few steps here on the video. This is my first time doing a sewing video and I apologize I missed some of the steps, but if you use the blog post in addition to the video, hopefully it will be clear and you'll be able to be successful with this apron. Once you've finished sewing both of the pockets on, press the apron again, cut off any loose threads, and you're done. And enjoy your new apron. Here's our completed apron. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make your own Japanese linen crossback pinafore apron. I hope you get lots of use out of it and enjoy making it. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe and join me as we create a simple, natural, handmade home.